and we're about to go have a meeting with Nathan. Now, I'll tell you about this in just a moment. <laughs> What's up, Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. It is heating up here in Texas. It is super hot out there. Uh, just got through taking the dogs for a little walk and we're about to go have a meeting with Nathan. Now, I'll tell you about this in just a moment. But before we get started, do me a big favor, go down there, like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. It helps me so much. Push that algorithm out there so that we can get the videos to more people and it helps the channel and it's free. It's a win, 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 win. Okay, and now that you've done that, <clears throat> I'll tell you a little bit about Nathan. So Nathan is another YouTuber who runs a nonprofit. His YouTube channel is I'm From Driftwood. So we're gonna go over and meet Nathan and talk about being on his channel. It is geared towards the LGBT community and telling their stories and putting their stories out there. It's very cool. There's some, there's been some pretty cool people on there. He's got, he's got like, I think a mayor from California was on there. There was a girl that was on 60 days in, she's on there. Like we definitely have, um, have a really diverse community and Nathan is taking time out to highlight some of the stories from our lives, help bring us together. So we're gonna go meet Nathan and just have a little meeting about story that I'm going to tell for his uh, for his YouTube channel. So I'm going to tell a story on I'm from Driftwood and we're going to do a little brainstorming today. So I'm going to bring you along. All right, let's go. So I made it over to Nathan. This is Nathan. Um, he is uh, the YouTuber I was telling you guys about and came over here to put a story together for his channel, which is called I Am Driftwood. So uh, Nathan, why don't you tell us a, a little bit about the I Am Driftwood stuff? Let me, let me get the camera turned around here for you. Okay. All right, so it's called I'm From Driftwood, and it's called that because I am from a very small town in Texas called Driftwood. Some people think I made up the name like, oh, I, I get it, you're Driftwood floating through the waves of society. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Thank you for the, the compliment of thinking that I'm that creative, but no, I'm actually just from a town called Driftwood, Texas. I was inspired by it because I had seen the film Milk back in 2008. And there's a photograph of Harvey Milk, the first openly gay elected official in California. And he's in the San Francisco Pride March in the 60s, holding a big sign that reads, I'm from Woodmere, New York. And I was thinking about that sign, like, why are you saying you're from a town that no one's ever heard of? Everyone associates you with San Francisco, this big queer and trans mecca. But I really resonated with that because he's not from there. He's from Woodmere, New York, a town no one's ever heard of. And I was living in New York at the time in Brooklyn but I'm not from there, I'm from Driftwood, Texas. And that to me meant that you're not alone no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through. And I wanted to get that message out there through storytelling. So we started as a nonprofit now and we publish a new story by a queer trans person every week. And just to keep pushing that idea that no matter where you are or what you're going through, that you're not alone. Every story begins with where the, where the storyteller's from. So if I was from, you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma, it would be, you know, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, you know, we just really, you know, everyone has their own story. Every, every story is unique. And, you know, just that message of belonging and community. And, but also over the years, we've learned that the stories really activate empathy and, and listeners. So we put a lot of emphasis on the story arc. So we don't just like film people for 10 minutes and upload it and publish it. We make sure we coach every storyteller one-on-one -on -one to help structure their story. So there's a beginning, middle, and an end. 
there's a conflict and a resolution. And there's a, a science behind that. The reason we do that is because I'm gonna get a little geeky here, like science nerd, but- Do it. Yeah, so it's in everyone's brain, there's something called mirror neurons. And when you tell someone a story and you tell it well, you're activating those mirror neurons, which is ultimately what creates empathy. So that feeling that you have after hearing a story of like, ugh, I feel you. That's because they told you a story and that's, uh, that's what empathy is. So that's why we spend so much time one-on-one -on -one with storytellers to help them uh, tell their story well is because we're really trying to activate those mirror neurons in people's brains. So it sounds very manipulative, but, but uh, <laughs> there's, the reason we do it is, is so people learn about each other and, and ultimately learn about themselves and you know, connect with each other as, as human beings. That's awesome. How long have you been doing the I'm from Driftwood and the nonprofit? How long has it been going on? We launched in March 2009. So it's been 13 years. Is that correct math? 13 years? It yeah. Sound, that uh, sounds right. That... <laughs> I'm not a math magician, but yeah. that sounds right. Uh, so yeah, 13 years we've been publishing stories for that long. You know, something really interesting that, that has been happening in the past 13 years, like when we launched, we couldn't be openly queer in the military without getting kicked out. We couldn't get legally married. You know, there, there's been a, the, the trans movement. It was even the word trans at the time was not like this openly known thing to the general public. And so we've seen over these past 13 years, all these societal shifts. And of course, more recently, a, a big pushback from, from, you know, conservative thinking. But we've been collecting stories during all this time. And it's, it's been interesting to see the, the shift in the stories that people choose to share. So it's, it's sort of becoming this historical project as well. And certainly an archive, we tag all of our stories. So if you want, you know, trans stories from Oklahoma, like we have a way for you to, to find those. That's awesome. And it sounds like it's also um, giving a lot of uh, awareness and exposure to our community and kind of gives other people a window into our community and just kind of our, our stories. Like I said, it's, I, I think it's a great idea. I'm so, so happy to be a part of it. So thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of it. It's, it takes a lot of courage to share people's uh, personal stories uh, with the general public. So there's a, a great deal of bravery in sharing your story as well. So thank you for uh, choosing to be a part of it. Yeah, you bet. All right. Well, I really appreciate you, Nathan. Thank you very much again for having me over today and kind of getting some of the details about what we're gonna share um, on your channel and part of my story. And if you guys are interested in going to check out his channel, it's I Am From Driftwood on YouTube. Um, so go check him out. And when I publish this, I'll make sure to put a little link in the description box for you guys to make it a little bit easier for you to find it. But um, and yeah, man, yeah. I'm super, super would, grateful. Yeah, I am too. And one thing about that is that we're, we're filming and uh, publishing stories all the time. So if anyone wants to share their story, or even if you're curious, like we'll walk you through it. You know, we will take you through the whole uh, process of what it's like. We help you think of a story. Uh, we can record stories on Zoom. So no matter where you're located, we can get your story. So um, just reach out. This is simple as the first step as there can be. So just let us know. That's amazing. All right. Well. I gotta get go back to my house, so I'm gonna let Nathan get on with doing what he does best, and I'm gonna go back home and check on the puppies. But guys, thank you so much for coming along with me today, and I will make sure to update you guys when the story goes up. I'll make sure everybody knows out there. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Push that algorithm out there.